Good to go? What's up? Bip, 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 bip. <laughs> What's up everybody? Chef Matt Basile here. I am still on hiatus down in Florida, taking a little bit of a, a little bit of a downtime, a little bit of a relax, but obviously I can't not cook. I love making sandwiches. I want you to make more sandwiches. I want to make more sandwiches. We all win. Today, I'm going to show you how to make a grilled pineapple jerk chicken sandwich cooked over charcoal and wood the way it was meant to be cooked. Let's start cooking. All right, so before we even start cooking, we got to build our fire. First things first, charcoal, and then we're just going to light our little lighter cubes, and then the chimney is going to go right on the fire starter. So jerk chicken traditionally is a low and slow dish. You could do it with whole chicken, you could do it with chicken wings. I'm gonna be using skin on boneless thighs. Jerk chicken has some heat to it. We're gonna make the sauce together. I'm using scotch bonnets. I'm using three of these beauties, but there's some ginger, some garlic, some green onion, some fresh thyme, some lemon, and I'm gonna add a little bit of grilled pineapple to mine for a little extra acidity and a little bit of natural sweetness. We got some fresh garlic, about eight cloves of garlic. I've got here about a quarter cup of fresh ginger. I'm using three scotch bonnets. You can use one scotch bonnet. You can use eight scotch bonnets. It really does depend on your level of heat tolerance. Uh, I have a fresh lemon for some acidity. I have some green onions here. I love green onions and some fresh thyme. I'm gonna throw it all into this container here. So the scotch bonnets are gonna go in first. Then we've got our eight cloves of garlic. So now the green onions we'll do next. It doesn't need to be a fine chop. We're just gonna do a little rough chop here just so it's easier to break it down. And that's gonna go in as well. Now we have some fresh thyme. You're just gonna take the sprigs and just pull them right off. I got a lemon here. I'm gonna cut that in half. That beautiful natural acidity just really gives it a fresh flavor that we're looking for. Ginger, I'm just gonna remove the, the skin on this and then it can go in as large clusters. There's so much flavor packed into that. Okay, now we're gonna add a little bit of liquid to this. Uh, it'll just help break it down. So you're looking at about two tablespoons of soy sauce. The soy sauce is your umami, it's your salt. Great flavor there. Now you can add water to this. I'm actually gonna use about a half cup of ginger beer, mainly because it really helps bring out that natural ginger flavor. Now I'm gonna blend this down, break all those big pieces of ginger and garlic and green onions. Don't forget those scotch bonnets at the bottom. You just wanna blend right through all of that. So now we're gonna add some of our dry spices to it. We're gonna do a teaspoon of cinnamon. You're gonna do a half cup of allspice. Allspice is really what helps give it that color that we're all known for. And it's got that very quintessential jerk chicken flavor that you're all used to. I'm gonna add about a tablespoon of onion powder as well. Got about a tablespoon of dried thyme as well. So I'm gonna use about two tablespoons of honey. All right, so the last dry ingredient I'm gonna add now is some brown sugar. Brown sugar and honey kind of do the same thing. It helps caramelize over the chicken as it's cooking over fire. It gives you that natural stickiness that you're looking for in a sauce. All right, now I'm just gonna blend this all together. Now that it's the perfect color that you're used to with jerk chicken sauce, I'm gonna add some grilled pineapple to it. But before we do that, we gotta put our hot charcoal and wood together in the barbecue. When the charcoal is white, you know it's raging hot. You're gonna lift the grill grate. You're gonna throw that charcoal on. I'm gonna add my wood directly on the charcoal and it's gonna create an awful lot of smoke and then we'll know that it's hot and ready to go and we can start cooking our chicken. Okay, so now while I wait for the barbecue to come to temperature, I'm just gonna cut a couple pieces of pineapple. I'm gonna grill this off and I'm gonna include it in my jerk chicken sauce. Now, this is not a traditional step whatsoever. However, I've done it before and it really does add some beautiful sweetness and some very, very great flavor that you wouldn't normally get. All right, I'm gonna add my pineapple right over top of that charcoal and wood. Doesn't need to cook for very long. You just want it to caramelize. All right, so now I've got it off the grill. 
It's like nice and caramelized, but not overcooked, which is all I need. Uh, I'm gonna remove the core, I'm gonna remove the skin, and I'm gonna just blend that into the jerk chicken sauce. Just wanna make sure you're going all the way down. It's really important to do the blending different levels. That way you're getting all the large chunks of ingredients blended down. Now I'm gonna salt the chicken. You wanna make sure that that salt isn't just sitting on top, but really getting through the meat. Now, I'm gonna add my jerk chicken marinade. Pour that over top, I'm gonna flip the chicken, make sure that marinade's on both sides. In a perfect world, you're marinating this in the fridge, in a bowl, overnight. Because the longer that it has a chance to marinate, those flavors really get into the chicken. So unfortunately, I'm here cooking for you. Uh, I don't have time to do this overnight. But what I am gonna do is, as I'm slowly cooking it over indirect heat on the barbecue, uh, with that wood and charcoal, I am gonna go back and I'm gonna baste the chicken as we're cooking it. So we are perfectly hitting 350. You're gonna probably see it go up in temperature when I add the chicken, mainly because of the, uh, the fat content. So we got it on indirect heat, not directly under the charcoal and wood. I'm just gonna go back over it, put more of that sauce on that chicken. All right, so that's gonna cook for about 30 to 45 minutes on indirect heat, and then we're gonna transfer it over to direct heat. And then you'll immediately see that caramelization on the skin start to happen when you move it from indirect to direct. All right, so we have a beautiful caramelization happening on that chicken. So I've taken it from indirect heat to now direct heat to kind of continue to get that beautiful char on that skin. You have to be super careful because I cooked it on indirect heat, the chicken is so tender that it can possibly fall apart on you. I'm also gonna use a sweeter brioche bun for this. These are fantastic sweet breads that are ideal for this kind of sandwich. I'm just gonna put it on the barbecue on indirect heat up top just to get it nice and toasted. So while we finish up the chicken, I'm gonna quickly make a little coleslaw for it. I'm gonna take some cabbage, cut it in half, and then you're gonna go really thin. I have a bowl of carrots here as well. I'm gonna add the cabbage to the carrots. I'm gonna give it just a light salting. Now that I've lightly salted, I'm just gonna mix this together. I'm gonna add a decent amount of mayo to it. I'm gonna give a little bit of that pineapple jerk sauce in there as well. And we're just gonna mix it all together. Beautiful, nice creamy slaw. So that's gonna sit on top of the sandwich. I'm gonna grab our nice toasted bun. Just gonna place a little bit of lettuce down on the bun. Now I'm gonna grab the chicken off the grill. All right, so now it's time to build the sandwich. So I got the lettuce down on a nice sweet bun. I'm gonna grab our beautiful pieces of chicken and just start to layer that on top. And then I'm gonna take our coleslaw, just gonna go on top, just like so, and then boom. Well, there you have it, folks. A pineapple jerk chicken sandwich grilled over charcoal and wood with that fruity pineapple jerk sauce, just the right amount of spice, the right amount of ginger, a whole lot of love, just for you. And technically it's for me, but for you too. Thanks so much for watching. Make sure to like, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment down below if I still have yet to cover your favorite sandwich. This is Matt on hiatus saying, gotta hit the pool.